All right, welcome back Dial Builders to another Tip Tuesday. I have a video here for you guys. I'm gonna show you guys three different ways to hold your Marvel Legend heads. So you can have them secure while you're customizing them. I have two heads here in front of you. You can see in one of them, his mustache is not painted very well and the other one, her eye needs to be worked on. Um, I can hold on to this and then try to paint them on there, but my hands are kind of shaky, especially if you have one hand shaking and you know you're trying to paint. So I learned three different ways that I could hold these in place while I'm customizing them and I'm gonna go ahead and show share those three ways with you guys so we're gonna go on and look at the three ways right now so here we are with the first option um, they're called alligator clips they're really inexpensive buy a bunch of these on Amazon for like five bucks um, as you can see I just put them on some wooden dowels and then there's a little mechanism inside the plastic casing right here where you could clamp down with uh, pliers right now I left them loose just so I could show you the different sizes you could cut it down and you could hold in your hand while you have the head on there. I'm gonna go ahead and put one of the heads on here so you guys can see how secure it is. And these are fairly tight. See, now you can hold the Marvel Legends head on there really still, put your hand on the table to steady your hand, and then you can go ahead and paint in the details that you need. Uh, so that's our first option, really inexpensive. I'll have a picture of the brand that I used. If I find a link to these specific ones on Amazon, I will leave a link to that. And we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next option. So as you can see, our second option is really inexpensive. All it is, I took some uh, of my paint pots that I have, and then I went ahead and grabbed some uh, poster tack that you use for posters. You put it on the wall, and it's slightly sticky, so you could stick the posters on the wall without leaving any nail marks. And so all, all I did, I'm gonna go ahead and show you since I haven't put him on there, is I grabbed a piece of the poster tack, which I'm ripping off right now. Go ahead and give it a little knead, and then you put it right on top of your paint pot, and then you could go ahead and stick the head on there very securely and then they won't fall off it stays on really well and like I said you could leave this on the table or hold it on the table and you could go ahead and go in there really steadily with your paintbrush so as you can see the second option is really affordable as well and let's go ahead and move on to the third and final option which is my favorite so let's go ahead and move on to that next one so here is our third and final option which is my favorite I stumbled upon this while looking for something to use in a project and buying these acrylic cocktail stir sticks they're really durable the only downside to this is they don't have any sizes to fit the female head since the peg hole right here is too small so you can't really use this on this. You can flip the stir stick upside down and then just stick it on there. You stick some blue tack in there and that will work perfectly fine as well. But with uh, pretty much a lot of the bookie cap molds and I would say I've tried it on the Iron Man body as well as the Chameleon body, those peg holes will fit these perfectly nice and snug. I'm going to show you right camera. And as you can see, it fits on there and you could adjust the head like a ball peg. So if you're sculpting on here, you could move the head in any direction. You could tilt it sideways. You could tilt his head looking up, down, so you could really in there. And like I said, this is my favorite option. I stumbled upon this while looking for some, some materials for a project. And then I end up seeing uh, the top of these and I end up trying to plug in one of the heads on here. And I was like sitting all day trying different heads on there so I could see which ones fit for you guys. But like I said, a lot of bookie cap molds, um, the chameleon body as well as some of the Iron Man heads fit on here. You can sand these down since they're adorable. Sand this down to a smaller size and you possibly fit this on there. But like I said, you could just turn this around and stick your head on there. And it fits perfectly fine. You don't get any of the extra articulation like you do with the other head. You could make her tilt up a little bit. But that's about it. Um, like I said, this is my new favorite way to hold the heads of Marvel Legends while I'm customizing them. Uh, I am slowly getting into the customizing and sculpting. I'm not very good at it right now. I'm testing my hand at it. So if I have any tutorials coming up for those, I'll let you guys know. All right, so those are my three options. I hope you guys found this Tip Tuesday video very helpful. If you guys found it helpful, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and hit that sexy subscribe button.